Our world runs on the energy we produce. Clean energy production allows us to generate the energy we need without the greenhouse gas emissions and negative environmental effects that came with fossil fuels in turn helping to reduce climate change. The more we are able to reduce our carbon footprint and rely on clean and renewable sources of energy, the better chance we'll have of mitigating the effects of climate change and preserving our planet for future generations. The UAE was among the first countries that rushed to try to find energy sources that would be an alternative to oil and reduce dependence on fossil energy, which caused environmental disasters. In the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP27, which was held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, the UAE announced that it would continue to focus on reducing emissions in the oil and energy sector. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed said the world is facing complex challenges and addressing them requires joint action and international cooperation. The UAE was the first country in the Gulf region and the Middle East to announce a strategic initiative to achieve climate neutrality by 2050. It also launched a partnership with the United States aimed at enhancing energy security and supporting climate action by investing $100 billion to build projects to produce 100 gigawatts of clean energy around the world. Prudent policy in energy prompted the U.S. climate envoy John Kerry to praise the decision to hold the COP28 climate summit in 2023 in the UAE, which is a member of the OPEC organization. Kerry said that fossil fuel economies should be encouraged to lead the transition to clean energy. I think it's very exciting that the UAE is going to host COP. And it's so important that you have an oil and gas producing nation step up and say we understand the challenge of the climate crisis, Kerry told Reuters. Kerry added, they are very smart because they know that what's coming out of the ground is not forever, either physically or politically, and they're looking at what the new world will look like. If there are going to be new forms of energy, they want to be among the providers of it, just as they are today. The UAE has announced 30 update national climate plans and a significant summit agreement on loss and damage aimed at helping countries most vulnerable to climate change pay the cost of extreme weather and rising sea levels. It is worth noting that the UAE is the first country in North Africa and the Middle East to commit to reaching zero emissions by 2050, according to Standard & Poor's. And for this reason, the UAE seeks to reconcile oil production and reduce carbon emissions in a step that reflects an insightful vision to be a major player in clean energy. Hey, Maria Malouf here. Please click to like and subscribe to Maria Malouf TV YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.